What is up, YouTube watchers? Uh, well, I got a piece of MDF at like 60 something dollars. I think that's the most I've ever paid for MDF, a sheet of MDF, three quarter inch. Man, it's crazy, but I guess that's the new world we live in. Uh, I'm starting on a box here. It's 48 inches, 16 inches, 16 inches, which is kind of narrow and long and narrow that's what she said for a uh, the woofer i got but i wanted to save as much space as i could in the back by keeping it narrow in the back and just using up the width but i'm piecing it together here i actually took the car to lowe's to get this so i had them the people at lowe's use the wall saw to cut this stuff out and they did a good job but it don't really help when the sheet of wood itself isn't cut exactly even because I measured their cuts. The wall saw cut perfectly straight cuts, obviously, but the very ends, the factory ends are like off by like a 16th. It's like a little, it's like 48 and a 16th at the top, 48 dead nuts at the bottom. And it's like that everywhere. And the only problem that I have with this, you can see everything, I mean, everything fits tightly. This is, you know, I could, I could try to do this with a skill saw, but where it's going to get me is the long cuts. You know, there may be a dip or something in here. This is perfectly straight. I mean, just perfect. You know, it's not that I was trying to be lazy. It's just that I was in the Prius and a full sheet of MDF is not going to fit in a Prius. But if I go ahead and cut it out up there, it will fit in the Prius very easily. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm just pre-drilling my holes. I went and got some, uh, some Bondo here. And some wood glue here just you know your walmart stuff should be good enough but what i do with this bondo basically um oh i got some fish right here too fish mountain dew next to a dirty fucking kawasaki motor but anyway um what i do like when i get all this screwed and glued um in this gap right here you see this 90 right here what i will do is I will feel this, you know, I will lean this up on the side basically, and I will ever so slightly feel this with fiberglass resin. You know, I'm not talking about put a big, you know, freaking blob out to here, but just like a small layer, like fill in this little crack right here. Just have it come up about an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter of an inch thick, you know, and it'll fill in this crack right here. Uh, just to kind of round the edges in here. So I've, I've done this for years and I cannot even begin to tell you how, how much it strengthens this box when I do that. It is incredible. Like uh, in, in the past couple of years, boxes that I've dismantled that I've done that to, I nearly would have to take a sledgehammer and beat, beat the ever loving shit out of the box to get it to come apart when I do that. It is just amazing. But yeah, I'm going to add that little tiny little layer of MDF and all the cracks and crevices on the inside. Uh, I thought I was going to get away with using one piece of MDF, one sheet to build this entire box, but I've got just like a little bit left. Like that right there is left. I've got a little piece uh, that's left over. I don't know if I'll have enough to build a port. I don't know. I've got this sheet right here, which is 14 and a half by like 18. And I got this, this is only five inches. You know, maybe a five inch by six inch port, a kind of a rectangular port. I don't know. I didn't want a slot port. I kind of like just a, a, a box type port in the very, you know, in the very center of the box here, something like that. Or if I had like a if I had like a, a six inch PVC pipe, six inch diameter, I might want to try to use that or something. 
because really I'm I'm limited here in the space I got right here for how you know my port my port length because it's going to be tuned to 32 hertz. You know that was the rating for that speaker. You know 32 hertz. But anyway, uh, this is just one quick update. I'll come back whenever I get it more put together and you know continue my thoughts about this. All right, guys. Well, I've got the bottom and the sides up. Hold on. Let me turn this music off so I could get copyrighted by this, even though I don't really care. But anyway, the sides and the bottom are put together. I've put a couple of screws in just to kind of hold everything in place. I'll put more screws in later. Uh, I got some wood. I got it glued. It's using this stuff right here. Just standard glue. And probably gonna let this dry because it's late right now and I don't really want to get the skill saw or not the skill saw the jigsaw to cut out the speaker hole or do anything else um, it's single wall on the sides the top will be double walled you know for that big ass v big ass VXF uh, I'll do some bracing on the inside right here because this is a long run right here just something uh i try to get away with just buying one piece of wood uh let's see i guess that's it for now uh i'll come back later whenever i get the holes cut the hole cut for the speaker and figure out what i'm gonna do about the port but anyway all right guys it's been about a day i'm back out here i've done have I, i've done had probably two or three different revisions of this box because like i said i'm not a box builder i know i understand just enough to build a ported box about cubic feet how to calculate cubic feet and uh port size and tuning it and stuff you know, I can go to a website for that. So I'm not a box builder. I just do a little research and build my own box. But the last time you've seen this, it was a little bit longer. I decided to scrap that idea, mainly because I didn't like the way the port was going to be, the square port. I thought it looked kind of small, even though it seemed to be the right size and was going to be the right tuning frequency. It just, I didn't like the way it looked. It looked like a tiny little... I don't know, it looked like a tiny little butthole or something. <laughs> but anyway, I just didn't like the way it looked. So I chopped the box off, a little bit off, probably about eight inches. And this size right here is about, mm, if I remember correctly, about four and a half cubic feet, you know, minus support, because SCAR recommends like 3.25 or 3.5 cubic feet for their VXFs, the 15, for a ported enclosure. So this is a little closer to the recommended uh, size box you should build. And uh, four and a half cubic feet, a little over four and a half, 4.5, seven something uh with the driver in there i don't know how much space the driver motor takes up i can't find that information anywhere i mean it's a pretty big motor on the back of it so i would think it would take up what maybe 0.3 cubic feet something 0.5 cubic feet i don't know i'm just talking out of my ass here i don't know so i would think with the driver in there and with this port right here this is a two and a half inch wide by 14 and a half in, 14 and a half inch or 14 inches 14.5 inches uh, i'm sorry it's it's late i'm tired uh 14 and a half inches by two and a half inches uh 24 inches long i calculated this size box uh i think it was the port needed to be 15 or 16 inches to be 32 hertz but I went ahead and made it, uh, let's see, all right. No, because I only made it like a few inches longer than what it said it needed to be, uh, just for my calculations. If it sounds good, it does. If it does, it doesn't. I don't know. Um, 
this is this is the best I'm gonna do because I am not you know a box builder you know I don't I don't claim to know what I'm doing but you know this is my final revision right here just a simple slot port what it's gonna be uh, I've already started on the uh, the uh shit i guys i can't even think right now the fiberglass fiberglass liquid resin uh i've already started you can tell like what i do is i angle the box you know where it's perfectly in the middle and i just fill in the little cracks and crevices right there all along nice and neat back there i kind of stuttered a little bit so it got messy but you know, just, I'm talking about, this is just a little fine layer in there just to bring, it's, you know, I fill in the crack just to bring it up some, maybe a quarter of an inch, just to kind of give it that nice, you know, not a sharp angle, basically. And like I said before, earlier, which will be yesterday's video, uh, that strengthen, strengthens this box up significantly, like, I mean, already with the wood glue, it's pretty stout. And no, I haven't finished with the screw job yet. You know, I just got three in there for now on each side and a couple, you know, that's just that's just temporary. I'm going to go back and add some in between and, you know, I'm going to add more screws. But this is just getting the preliminary setup right here. Uh, I got the top piece right there. I've got it marked out where to drill my holes you know, my starter hose for the screws so it doesn't, like, spread apart this MDF. That's one thing bad about MDF. If you just screw a screw straight in there, you know, against with the grain right here, it will just spread this stuff. You know, it just, it, it'll lose all gripping properties. But, you know, pre-drill a hole works out perfectly. I've got these longer screws right here. These are going to go through the top top is double layered right there and you know this makes it smaller so it'll fit in the back of that escalade better so if i wanted to i don't think i will because i'm not going to be pushing this thing very hard but if i for some reason wanted to i could double layer the sides the back the sides and the bottom you know make it all double layered if i absolutely wanted to but i don't think i will you know, once I get this box sealed up and sanded and I'm going to use some Rust-Oleum gloss black in the can and probably roll it on. And I, I hear a lot of other people, you know, not just on YouTube talking about it takes forever for that paint to dry. Yes, it does. But it, it, if you read the instructions, you're supposed to wait 24 hours in between recoating. So I don't know if that was the case or it does just take that long. Yeah, I've had it take long for me too, but, you know, I'll put on one thin coat. You know, I'll just put some on a brush, brush a coat on real fast, you know, get it covered, get it covered, and, you know, let it set for a total of 24 hours and then come back and recoat, even if it don't cover it all. You know, just get some paint on there to, to for the other paint to stick to. And, but that will be way later got this rounded right here just a little bit i'm not gonna go crazy with that but and this one right here i should have rounded that better but i mean it, it can't hurt that bad this is a two and a half inch wide port so i don't know if i would get that much wind noise if i you know played the wolfer crazy you know got a lot of excursion but who knows i mean that 2000 watt amp isn't even gonna you know, bring that woofer to, to its full uh, potential. But it should sound good. I mean, shit, it's a ported box. It's got a longer port than it needs and it may be tuned closer to 30 hertz or 29 hertz now. But that's what I've always said. If it's bass, I like low, deep bass. 40 hertz is not bass. That's, you know, that's that's hummingbird buzzing. That's not bass. You know, bass is like 35 hertz and down, deep rumble. You know, I'm, I'm not into that, you know, whatever it is. 
I don't know, the, the loudest vehicles in the world and they play it like 60 hertz. That's not bass to me. You know, I, I like low, deep bass, you know, wind, fucking hair moving and all that shit. I, I don't plan to do that. I don't want to do that, but I just, I want the deep bass. I want the 35 hertz and down, you know, that's, that's what I want. And that, that VXF, I think, uh, it's, it's recommended for around 32 hertz, which is where I'm, I'm happy at 32 hertz, you know. But anyway, as you can see, I'm starting to do the bottom edges. Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. I guess I better hurry up and get inside. Um, I still got that one side right there to do. And this, this is not necessary. This is just something that I like to do because I feel like this, this fiberglass resin, it fills in the sharp angle and kind of rounds it off, half ass rounds it, and it adds a little bit of strength to it. Because trust me, if you ever dismantle a box like this with that resin there, you got to pry and hit pretty hard to knock these pieces loose. It just, it adds that much strength. It's like a twofer for me. It adds a little bit of curve to it. Oh, God damn, I better go inside. It's starting to really rain. Uh, but anyway, put that window down so water don't come in here. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll get that one side covered and then do a little bit of sanding shit, put the top on there, glue the top on, screw the top on. Uh, and then work with the difficulty of going through that hole right there to do the back side, which is going to be hard, especially in this area. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try to get as much resin coverage as I can on this top portion up here, all around the top portion. But anyway, that's going to, I guess, in conclude another part. I will pick back up. I'm going to try to make this all one thing, building this box, and I apologize. I just haven't filmed myself cutting pieces. Uh, you know, I, I just I don't want to film that because it, I'm a hack, but it is what it is. We all do our own things, and, you know, I'm still learning at 38 years old, and hopefully this will be the last box I ever build because I really do not like building boxes. But anyway, I will pick up later. All right, guys. Here we go. Another day. Another one. I've been slowly working on this box because I can't, you know, I got other stuff to do in life. I can't keep working on this box all day. Uh, believe it or not, even though I don't have a job, I still got other stuff to do around here. Um, I got it finished. Sanded down the best I could. The best I'm going to do, because I'm tired of messing with it. Uh, the port right here, I kind of screwed up right here. Um, whenever I was cutting this, my arm slipped and it just, just kind of gouged it a little bit right there. But whatever, it's going to get covered up with paint. I've already put it in the Escalade and kind of test bumped it, if you will. Uh, I picked a few songs that are from decaf, like 25 hertz, 30 hertz, 35 hertz. The best I can tell, it does play pretty damn low. But it's hard to tell because I just had the driver just sitting on top. It wasn't screwed down. Um, but still, you know, you can get a pretty good idea of what it's going to sound like, even with it sitting on top. I mean, hell, the, the driver's like, what, 40 or 50 or 60 pounds. So it's pretty much sealed. Um, I don't know. I'll just get this guy painted up. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. I think I mentioned that before. I'm going to try to include all these video clips together to make one video clip. Try not to make it so damn long. Because all I do is talk. But, yeah, I mean, that's it. I got the resin here in the bottom. And you can see it's only, I only fill it up to about a fourth of an inch. And it just leaves like a nice curved 
fuel in there you can see and it adds a ton of strength to this box i mean this thing is freaking solid but anyway i guess the next clip i will be painting this thing that'll probably take several days because i'm gonna wait in between coats like per the instructions uh what rustoleum recommends i'm gonna put two three maybe four coats on this thing make sure it's good and covered uh got the wire right here this is sky high uh what is this sky high 10 gauge i mean i probably needed eight gauge for that vxf but 10 gauge that's the biggest i got and you see i got stainless steel screws right here nothing fancy I mean, you know it'll work just fine it'll work better than any other fancy product and, uh, you know it doesn't matter how fancy it looks they all do the same damn thing you know it's just if you want to be kim kardashian and look all shiny and whatever but no this is a country boy box this is as good as it's gonna get other than that splashing some black paint on it but anyway i'll come back whenever i get to painting okay guys um i'm not done with this box yet obviously i haven't painted it but i just wanted to put it in here basically and uh see how it sounds i know it's a little bit too late for that but i'm just curious how this thing sounds and i ha I don't have any paint right now to paint this i'll have to go to lowe's or somewhere um where i live at the ace hardware everything there is like two to three dollars more expensive than if i just drive 25 miles to the next town and go to the lows there so you know i can get like a can a small can of rust-oleum black paint well it's going to be a couple of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me it's going to be a couple of dollars more here basically and you know i've got a prius right there that gets almost 45 to 50 miles to a gallon so I can drive that distance. See, I got the bolt terminals there. They work just as good as any other type of terminals. Stainless steel hardware. And that's the SCAR 2000, solidly mounted. I will say, since I made the box smaller, it kind of floats around back there, so I'll have to figure out a way to mount this guy because I can on this carpet it'll slide pretty easy so even with that heavy ass scar it'll still slide pretty easy but and i mean i can't do much right now because it's almost two in, two in the morning here so you know i'm not i'm not that asshole that wakes up the neighbors with my loud ass bass i don't do that shit you know, you're an asshole if you do that shit. I don't care who you are, how much you like bass, but it's not a it's not a great idea to disturb your neighbors in the middle of the night. You know, even if it is, well, shit. Tomorrow is no tomorrow's Sunday, but still, some people work on Sundays. I.e., my girlfriend that's in the camper and they're asleep right now. So, yeah. I'm just gonna like test bump it just to just just hear a few tones basically to see you know I I can hear the tones at low note at low volume and I, I'll be able to tell if it's tuned high or tuned low if I completely fuck the box up which is a great possibility believe me if you did if if I did fuck the box up you'll know right now I will take this box out I will put it back there and set it on fire. Not tonight, obviously, but I will set it on fire. I will burn the box and start over. Uh, let me find something on here. No, Dua Lipa is not going to get it. Uh, let's see. I think I downloaded or uploaded to this, yeah, some old Ram Designs bass music from 2007. 
Mm, that's a throwback. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, Be Like Me by Sean P. I think hits notes like down into the lower 30s and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I probably had to talk over this. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's tuned pretty low. Because that's picking up that low note right there. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's picking up... That's picking up some pretty fucking low notes right there. Like I said, I just kind of guesstimated on the port size when I changed the size of this box. Uh, let's see. Shaba. Shaba Ranks. Bedroom Bully. Well, this song isn't Bedroom Bully, but that's one of his old songs. This song has some pretty low notes, too. I'll just play this one and I'll be done. Because it's, like I said, it's almost two in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's picking up that pretty good, too. I think that's like around 30-something hertz. But it actually... It may be tuned lower than 30 hertz because it was... It was it was jamming pretty good uh, on Be Like Me, especially with those low notes that hit. I think they're 20-something hertz. I, I can't remember. It's in the title. Uh, but I can't... I don't have it on here. Like... It had it on there, but I, whenever, I don't know, I'm anal about titles and punctuation on songs and stuff. Like, I basically just put what the song is called and take off all the other nonsense because I like to clearly see what song is be being played. But yeah, anyway, that's good enough. I just, you know, my ears heard it and it's tuned freaking low. So, oh, I guess I better turn this thing off. So, um, this freaking key is messed up, so I have to set it just right. That's one thing I need to fix on this Escalade. I need to fix the ignition, or, you know, you can turn it all the way back till it stops, and that's when it's off. I'm sure this thing's been stolen before in its past life. On all the riffraff that hangs around these type of cars, including me, I'm no different. But yeah, that's it. It's gonna stay like this until sometime this week. I'll go get paint. I'll have to go to the Lowe's in the next town, spend a few dollars less, and have more of a selection. It's just these small towns, they really hike up the prices. Well, that will conclude this video. I wanted to get something out. Basically, it's not much. Just piecing the box together and throwing an unfinished box in the back just to know if it sounds okay. It's tuned pretty low, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it and just listen to it. Actually listen to it during the day with the volume up and just see how I like it. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and put something out and... The next video, I guess, will be me trying to paint that box. And we'll see how that goes. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will get back with you guys soon. Have a great day or night. And don't let shit go to your head.